Hi, thank you for joining me. This is Jared Zimmer with Remax Properties here in Cedar City, Utah. Uh, what I want to go over today is just highlight a little bit more, a little reference on hiring the right agent for the job of helping you not only buy the right house, but also sell your home. Uh, you're dealing with a lot of bank inventory still. It is drying up. Uh, but you need an aggressive agent that's going to get out there and really go to bat for you. Uh, something I wanted to highlight is that NAR, the National Association of Realtors, projects your average real estate agent nationwide will close just shy of three homes for the year of 2012. Uh, that's, that's a pretty tough number as we talked about last time um, in actually helping to generate more leads, generate buyers, and actually help get somebody's home sold. Uh, we pulled some stats. That an interesting statistic I pulled for last year in Iron County, uh, there were only 12 agents total out of just shy of 200 that had closed over 10 homes, 10 transactions. Again, you know, a very stiff number. You just wonder what are people doing out there. Um, but you know, you do get a lot of part-time agents, and that's why you need to be careful on hiring the right agent because this is a major decision in most people's lives and it's not all the agents are created equal and not all agents are putting forth an equal amount of effort obviously um, again me and my two girls um, Cassie Norin, Cheryl Zimmer my wife um, we've been on track 80 to 90 for the last couple of years this year we're actually pacing at a we should be on track about 145 closed transactions um, something I want to say a note on this, uh, which is a big exciting moment in my, my life right now, if I've been shooting for it for the last four years, is to break over 100 closed transactions for a year. Uh, something's been definitely challenging, it's been hard. Uh, we are going to hit that number today, and I am very excited about that. Cassie Norton Winslow, sorry you're, you got married. Um, I want to say thank you very much for all your hard work, all the effort you put in. Cheryl, again, thank you very much, you've been a tremendous um, asset coming into the company. We, I really appreciate both of what you girls do. Um, a huge thank you to all all of you that are actually watching this podcast, um, that, that follow up with the, the news that we send out, um, and basically help us get the goals, help us attain the goals that we strive for. Um, I hope I'm helping everyone in, in return. Uh, we've had a lot of past clients. I've had a lot of referrals this last year. And again, I just want to say thank you very much. Um, I, I'm here to do whatever I can for you guys and help you any way possible. Um, again, so, you know, just highlighting where we're at. The market is actually still doing very good. Um, you list a, a certain property and it is selling um, within, you know, a week, two weeks of being on the property or being on the market. It is slowing down a little bit. We're getting into the fall season. Things are cooling down. Buyer activity starts to slow down a little bit. So again, be careful on who you hire for the job of selling that property. Um, do some interview questions. Do some homework. But really make sure you're getting somebody that's going to go to bat for you on that property. And I would love to apply for the job. I would love to do anything I can. Um, Again, I just want to say thank you very much for everyone so far. I'd say half of our business this year is from past clients and referrals, and I really appreciate you, you helping me achieve that goal. Look forward to doing anything else I can uh, in the future for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.